Welcome everyone. Nice to be with you. And so uh, many of you are continuing to join from this weekend's retreat. And then we have some folks uh, in Facebook land uh, joining us as well. So nice to have you. We just had a wonderful, deeply powerful retreat. And uh, yeah, I can't say how happy I was with it. It was just, it's just incredible. Those who missed it, uh, maybe you can join us next time. So let's do this. Uh, let's close our eyes. Dropping into the body. From a place of compassion, I invite you just to notice, how are you doing? How is the human being? If you're on the retreat, <laughs> the human being went through a maybe a roller coaster of spiritual awakening and healing and receiving all this grace and transmission and some time of integration. If you weren't on the retreat, you know, maybe it's just normal human stuff, but let us all just stop right here, right now. compassionately check in with the body. Again, just gently acknowledging what's here. And from a place of love, can you allow what's here? to fully be here, to be experienced without judgment. So I'm gonna invite everyone to breathe more deeply Inviting awareness to awaken in the space of the heart. So a simple practice, can you simply breathe deeply and fully? into the space of the heart. I invite you Just to imagine that there's a door on the hara. To open this door. Just imagining like you're walking into a, a cave as if you're walking into a cave. Each and every breath. It's feeling and opening.
experiencing the deep, quiet nature of this cave. If anything in your human self, personality, feels out of alignment, struggling, or a little bit off, if you surrender into this cave, will begin to have a balancing effect. Experiencing the vast peace and the silence of this space. As well as an earth like rooted, grounded quality. Can you receive this depth, silence? This empty yet paradoxical solidity. Empty yet uh, paradoxical solidity. That's the power to balance, to root. To ground you. It's very noble peace, silence. So can you trust in this? Not turn away. Not fight with, not grasp.
Can you trust this? And I encourage you to trust this presence with a smile. It's almost like a very subtle, joyous innocence. Knowing that what you are a deeply spiritual being. At your core, you are not an egoic being. But a deeply spiritual being. what we're opening to is simply a deeper aspect of reality. Deeper aspect of our own true nature. This depth, this radiance. Is you. Is you. So there's no reason to turn away from yourself. So if you're a couple individuals in the room are struggling with their mind or thinking or getting comfortable, nothing you need to think about now. And if you wanna get comfortable, if you wanna lay down, you can lay down. You want to sit up, you can sit up, but just find a place that's supportive for your body. Don't think too hard about that. Go back and forth. What should I do? How should I be? This is a space of compassion. So we're breathing, we're feeling, we're relaxing. And we're melting into this quiet depth. So again, awareness is rooted in the hara. That's the lower belly. under the belly button, a couple inches, and inward toward the spine. As you deeply surrender here, Some of you may begin to feel samadhi-like peace. 
so utterly quiet. Peace that's so deep and so dense heals, balances, nurtures. Any sense of fear or agitation. If you allow it, if you walk a little bit further into the heart, descend a little further, you'll, you'll notice there's another door here. And if you choose to open this, there's a second door. Begin to open into the groundless ground. Some of you, it may be a little scary if, if this is new to you, but I invite you to trust. My scary, it, this might feel as if the ground is coming out from under you. Again, I encourage you to trust, to smile, a joyously innocent way. One of the great realizations of the Buddha is this realm of the groundless ground. This is your first time here. It can be a little, <laughs> a little bits of fear can come up or, or maybe even excitement. I almost feel like free falling through space. But there's nothing to, <laughs> there's no ground to hit. So you're totally safe. It's incredibly free. And different than the normal kind of false solidity of the ego. The ego creates this whole world of solidity, which isn't really real, but it appears that way. So you may notice different aspects of the ego coming forward, clinging, and then releasing. Melting and dissolving. If you trust. That's what's crucial here in this realm is can you trust? safe to let go of your thoughts, it's safe to let go of your thinking mind, it's safe to let go of knowing oneself as an emotional nature. It's safe to 
to let go fully and completely. So just allowing yourself to experience the immense freedom of the groundless ground. What is it like? Can you let go of this false egoic identification. Be the hugeness of the sky. Be the depth of the earth. Again, this is not something that takes place in the head. To open through the heart. I notice this experience happening everywhere. And nowhere simultaneously. So again, I ask you, do you trust what's here? Do you trust that you don't need to hold on, you don't need to cling? The fabricated sense of self. You allow yourself to be fully unguarded, undefended. And radically awake. In this immense space of freedom beyond ego. Beyond four. As you descend into this darkness, you may notice one more, this time very, very subtle door.
as you open this, this last door, we're letting go of any little sense of identification that we're holding on to. Sometimes it's a spiritual identity. Old wounded identity. Shadow identity. An unconscious identity. And can you surrender this to this ground, this ground? Just allowing, inviting. Cement's emptiness. To gobble up any sense of egoic identification. As one surrenders this, we notice far off, like deep in the distance, almost like a pulsating star of presence. Timeless, eternal star. Primordial light. Awakening. the darkness. Found center this center. So can you melt into this?
Profound peace. And freedom. Deep, holy presence, primordial light and emptiness. Those of you new to this practice, just gently keeping awareness rooted in the hara. Directly experiencing. The man's realm of divinity. Primordial light. The man's depth of being. And so, I'm going to leave you all with this. <laughs> Keep opening to what's here. We can do questions next week. Good to see you all. Buddha nature pervades every day. 
Pura nature. Reveins everything. Good night, everyone. Good to be with you.